Today I'm making some beef shank barbacoa. Let's check it out. Alright, welcome back to the Smoke and Plank. Today I'm prepping these beef shanks. We'll be making some barbacoa. As you can see right here from the store, when they cut these with their bandsaw, it leaves bone chips and bone sawdust and meat dust. And what you want to do is just take a butter knife, scrape it off. You'll end up with a better product and you don't have all that mess in there. Sometimes, I swear I can taste it. All right, now that I got these all cleaned up and ready, today for seasoning, I'm only using pepper and garlic because the seasonings that I'm going to be using later have a lot of salt in them. And I just I don't want it to be over salted. So just pepper and garlic on this one before I put them in the smoker. And I definitely chose a perfect day to do this. It's downpouring out, but it doesn't really change anything. We'll get them on the smoker here. The reason I have foil down is because I want to catch all the juices that I can. Because it's all going to get put right back into the end product. Alright, here they are after about an hour and a half. And I'm going to give these a flip. I only wanted to put them under the smoke for about three hours. And we'll, we'll get them flipped here. As you can see, they're getting some really nice color. And we'll get these flipped and let them go for about another hour and a half. Always support the bottom. Alright, now I got my Kamado acorn fired up and there's a lot of people who have been using these auto tomatoes and things like that. I'm sorry my, my grills do not have training wheels. It's already super simple to run. And here they are three hours later getting ready to put them into the foil container and we're going to get them stuck on the acorn. Here's where the uh, barbacoa purists are probably going to roast me. I'm taking these nice smoked beef shanks and I'm going to use this flavor packet. And I'm using about one and a half of these packets. And never tried this seasoning before. And we're going to give it a go. You want to give each one of the shanks a nice liberal coating of seasoning. And just make sure everything's nice and coated. And I'm going to cube up some beef tallow. You don't really have to. You can use some butter if you like. But I prefer beef tallow. Just cube it up. Spread it around. Cover it in foil. And we're going to get it stuck back on the acorn here. Alright, after a couple hours on the acorn, you can see this is really starting to come together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shred it up. I'm going to take all the bone marrow that is inside of those bones mix it right in oh this is making my mouth water add a little bit of extra seasoning and just kind of flavor it to taste cover it back up with oil stuff it back in the acorn that is looking so good we're actually going to remove the bones and continue shredding and stirring and I put it back on the grill for another hour or so. And then I'll pull it back out and I'll shred it and stir it some more. And here it's starting to get the color that I've been looking for. It is looking delicious and it is super shreddable and it's super juicy. These beef shanks made great barbacoa. Even though it looks done, it's not quite there yet. I want it to cook a little bit longer. Throw it back on the acorn and we'll see how it turns out. And as you can see, right here's the finished product that I was looking for. I wanted it a little dark, a little less moisture, but I wanted it to be super juicy. As you can see, it turned out amazing. 
Got some nice fresh veggies. Got a nice avocado, cilantro, onion, some nice lettuce. Got some salsa from a local market, hot sauces. Anything you really need for some tacos. And here's my take on some barbacoa tacos. And like always, thanks for watching.